Uh, let's bring in, I believe, the next guy that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the Texas Rangers and Mr. Sam Hale from Bat, uh, Baseball Perspectives. Sam, what's going on, man? Gentlemen, how are we doing tonight? Good, doing all right. Good, man. That. Sorry for the harsh words earlier about your school. I was going to say, yeah, that's a little <laughs> that's a little mean. I mean, I don't think anyone in Colorado would, would love to have Josh Young and Cole Wins. You don't think they're that bad, that's my friend. Very like, true. Now, I, very I true. agree. I'll be honest here. Very true. Well, uh, we're excited to have you, man. Appreciate the flag in the background. Um, oh, excited you. to excited to hear uh, where the Texas Rangers are going to go with the second pick in the draft. Well, then let's not delay. With the second overall pick in this year's 20, mock draft, the Texas Rangers select Jackson Job, pitcher out of Oklahoma City Ooh. and Heritage High School. Ooh, okay, Sam. Well, tell me a little bit about the pick. Tell me why you decided Job was superior to some of the other top tier names on the board. So, obviously, the top of this draft has a ton of talent. I mean, you've got a lot of prep shortstops. You've got the two Vanderbilt kids hanging out. Henry Davis has a lot of attributes. But in looking at the Texas system, one of the things they really need is loud tools. And the slider from Job is impressive. The fastball is impressive. Just the lack of wear and tear on the arm is something to consider. You know, with all due respect to Lighter and Rocker, they've both been through college baseball seasons, very strenuous seasons at that. So there's no guarantees that when they come up, they're not going to have – you know, a little bit more wear and tear on those arms that could result in some injuries. Now, of course, throwing that hard and that wild is a little dangerous for any pitcher, regardless of age. But also another consideration here, Texas has been known to go under slot quite a bit in their first round picks. Even when they pick as high as this, Job is a guy that they can probably get for a little bit under slot. He's got very loud tools and he's even got some two-way aspects. He played shortstop before converting to pitcher. So there's some versatility there. And I know it's probably not going to be a popular pick. I ran a poll on my Twitter earlier. 65% wanted Leiter if he was there. And I get it. Like, Leiter's a fantastic pitcher. But overall, I think Job has loud tools. Is the development path a little long? Maybe. But I also think the development path for Texas is closer to three to five years than two to three on a rebuild. So they have time. And if he's this good and he looks this dominant, I think he'll make it a little quicker than most people think. I like it, man. I, I, I tend to agree with some of the things that you said. I think – in terms of projection, Joe might have a little bit more projection ahead of him than Jack Leiter. And, you know, asking yourself, is Jackson Job now going to be better than what Kumar Rocker is? You know, if, is Job going to be better than what Kumar Rocker is three years from now? It's a similar archetype, a similar, similar arsenal, different bodies, of course, but I think of you course. can make the case. Jeff, I want to throw it over to you, man. This is a, this is a bit of a, a shocker here early in the draft. What are your thoughts on Jackson Job number two to Texas? Yeah, you know, um, it's definitely a surprise. I don't think we necessarily thought uh, Job would go to, but I think, you know, going through the logic there, um, it's 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 not far off. And I think, you know, when you look at the system, um, you know, you mentioned Young, you mentioned, you know, Cole Wynn, who's had a, a tremendous season up to this point, has really had a breakout. Hans Kraus is back and throwing fairly well. Um, you know, I think they need some more arms at the top of the system. You look at their top players, you got guys like Foskey, you got guys like, you know, Evan Carter, Davis Wenzel, who are high on, you know, Loyote mm -hmm. Travaris is still a prospect. Same with Sam Huff. And then you have some of the international guys they've signed over the last couple of years, Acosta and Laura. Um, there's, you know, a, a fair bit of talent in the position ranks. And, you know, I think when we're looking at some of the more high-end talent within the Rangers system, it tends to be in the positional side. So this makes a lot of sense. And I think when you factor in, um, you know, what the competitive window is, it's, it's really perfect. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. And this is why I was excited for the top 10, because I don't think there's a lot of picks that are, I mean, even one, the handful of guys that could have gone there. Mm -hmm. um, so there really sure. is no set chalk necessarily. Um, but I like it I like a little madness, a little chaos early in the draft. It's going to be great. Sam, how really quick, how tough was it for you to walk away from all those shortstops? It was very difficult, honestly, like lighter and the shortstops Watson and Lawler specifically are the two that I really, really liked. And, and honestly, it's it's one of those things where somebody's taking a Hall of Famer in this draft, and there might be multiple ones, and somebody's going to get really good players. You just have to be very comfortable in, like, you've seen what you've seen, you have confidence in what you believe in, and it's not really a slight to those dudes. They're all probably going to be very good baseball players if everything works out. But it's all about just, you know, you can't worry about what anyone else is doing. You've got to believe in what you've seen, believe in what you feel, and just know your situation. And, like, like you know, if Meyer and, and Lawler and all those guys work out, that's that's great for baseball but you just got to believe in what you see. You can't let anything but your eyes deceive you on this one. Love it, man. Well, we're going to be seeing a lot more of you in the next couple of hours. Looking forward to seeing what Texas have, uh, has up its sleeve a little bit later. Yes, Love sir. That. Thank you, guys. Love that thing.